Hey everybody, welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. Today we do Clinker's Cavern after a half a day of looking for it. Clinkers. Are all the names uh, huh? alerted? Somewhat. I think so, actually. Oh no, 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 no. no. Gubbagoo no. Gubba yeah. Swamp. No, they're actually, yeah, this is kind of like the last of it, actually, I believe, with the alliteration. This here is our pretty much water level, and they couldn't have picked a better example than a fucking sewer. I guess they really wanted to be homage to their British roots. Face <laughs> <laughs> these fuckers. I, I, feel like, I feel like Josh would actually agree with you on that. <laughs> Just bait these out. They'll take two. They'll take two pieces of health from you if they hit. Well, I mean, what was the what was the last level we did? Uh, treasure. Treasure Trove Cove. Yeah. Trove Cove. I mean, that had water in it, and it had a shark. Now, but this is like the legit water level. Legit you're going water deep. level at the sewer. Yeah. So if your water level is also your sewer level, then uh, you're knocking level. out two bad trips with one with one yeah. swing. So good on your rear. You're not gonna get that token. I'll go. I have to leave here at some point. I'll probably try it for it again then. Even then, as I mentioned in the comments, that somebody else there's like 116 of those fucking things. You don't. You don't need a whole lot of them. Yeah, but you can still get it. I'll get it later. I will. I will get it before I leave. Fuck. No. <laughs> Butterfingers. See, oh. see, that's what happens when you don't get the token. Butterfeet. <laughs> no butterfingers is then I held down the goddamn uh, directional stick a bit longer than I should have. Butterfingers means you let something slip out of your hand. Hence Butterfingers. Mm, fair enough. I let the control slip out of my hand. <laughs> I thought it was the candy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even like Butterfingers. Yes, I do. Yeah, I'll give you a hundred yeah, grand. Yeah, Elliot, you're you, right. I'll give you a hundred grand and get you the candy bar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do Elliot. that to me. I will fucking hit you in the face so hard. Elliot, you are half right. I'm the one that hates Butterfingers. Oh, now that I've pacified Elliot's OCD, I hope. Let's continue on with the level. <laughs> Pacify. That's, that's not even OCD. Wait, that's that's not that's not OCD. I hate that they give you like only six bars of air for this one. Then again, you're not under it all that long. The key to this level really is just a uh, regulation. You got six stop signs of air. And that right there is Clanker. Which is a, it's a garbage disposal. Uh, uh, biomechanical garbage disposal. That's a big fucker. Oh, yeah. He's got beady eyes, too. And he's also harmless. This was my stopping point in the game, actually, when I, when I first played it. Well, yeah, because the water level would make me shit my pants apart, too. Well, yeah. And, well, no, it's cool, because you're in a sewer, so... You know, you don't yeah, <laughs> but, but a water level that's also in the sewers doesn't mitigate anything. I know. We're going to actually uh, do what we have to do with him first. We're going to take a swing around the uh, rim first. In fact, that's, ironically enough, like a... Shit, for lack of a better you, euphemism I, for it. So I guess you the can best say way you can um do this level is just go around the rims first, and then you go all the way down. I guess you could say this is a rim job. Uh, Everything's better with a rim job. <laughs> Thank you, Saint Fruit too. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess it was a car dealership or something. Like that, yeah, or yeah, no, it's the auto, auto mechanic. Auto mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. So hold on. The the the. the the metallic shark thing in the, the, the water is harmless? Yep. He does not attack you. Does not attack you? Is He's he friendly? friendly. He's friendly. Ah, oh, so, uh, so we're the real assholes for thinking he's a menace. Yep. Yeah. That's what we get for uh, being prejudicial. Judging it. <laughs> Preju prejudicial? What? Prejudicial. prejudicial. The act of being prejudiced. So just say being prejudiced. No, but that's not wrong. <laughs> it's, it's an actual word. <laughs> It's not his fault. Your vocabulary is limited. You need, to get, your, you need to get yourself a the source. Right. The what source? do dinosaurs have to do with any of this? <laughs> <laughs> and the Oscar goes to not me because I got a reason to order a bit. Hold on, hold on. Is it mechanical or is it organic? Because it's biomechanic. It's biomechanic. It's an android. No, it's a cyborg. A cyborg. <laughs> Please, I get people correcting me all the time with that shit. <laughs> well, for cyborg. cyborg, the difference between cyborgs and androids. Hey, dude, who are you to get something wrong? <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on my position of power. <laughs> now we're gonna swim around and take care of the um, little hexagonal holes here one at a time. You know, if I was an astronaut hovering around the the uh, International Space Station. That's the last thing I want my fucking mission control to say. Well, okay, I might be a little wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of like, you know, your um, nuclear chemist going, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Are the red lights safe? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everything glowing blue? <laughs> hey, it's getting hot in here, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, because you're going through the sun. <laughs> oh. That would explain it. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> 
There's one that's like clear down there. Yeah, no, for did sure. The water is remarkably yeah, clear. All right. Yeah, just because that's the only thing about this level I kind of hate about myself when I'm doing it is sometimes I'll go through the same hole twice. Because it kind of looks similar. Like, I won't blame you for that. Kind of, it does look similar. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's a little There's a jiggy in there. I want to get some The water first. is remarkably clear. Like that just means Clanker's doing his job. And Cl you know, in Conquer, this would be shit and nothing but. It is. Yeah. yeah. I still remember No, that there's shit. like a hint of green. <laughs> well, it was still, okay, it's it's still very, we can still pass it off as like cleaning yeah. product. Mm -hmm. Conquer is so, just plain. Yeah, you're you know, swimming it's in It's a shit. good thing we're a bear because the, the, the for all we know, we could be swimming in pure chlorine. And our eyes would be on fire. Some freaky looking crabs. Snippet mutants. Snippet mutants. Snippet mutants? Yep. The crab monsters we fought in the uh, world before are now mutants. Oh. Well, they but they're are. not all that bad. No, no. Well, of course, because their motor skills are probably shot the shit because of their horrible mutation. Exactly. Look at their eye. But look at it this way. They're dead. We put <laughs> we gave them peace that they would never find elsewise. <laughs> I don't know why they don't think they play like the the faster music or like they're an actual boss battle. The the snippet mutants kind of remind me of K. Rule mainly with the eyes because <laughs> they're green. They have one regular eye and one big ass that eye. That could be very well the homage they're going for. Yeah, yeah. Well, just like the the asymmetric eyes in general seems to be a <laughs> rare trademark. Except I say that though, and Banjo and Kazooie had perfectly symmetrical eyes. I was gonna say. Yeah. I was <laughs> also gonna point out perfect dark. Perfect dark? Why, she had, what, a perfect dark character had one eye bigger than the others? No, I was going to say, like... If, that would probably be really interesting to look at. And again, I would paint James Bond in a new angle, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's golden eye. <laughs> That's wired Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I believe there's a Jiggy in here, too. Bond's the kind of guy that puts a five-hour in his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> hey, That sounds like death. <laughs> I really feel like I should have done this... I really should have gotten the air first. Like, no, no. If, like five hour coffee, like, it's, like uh, it, maybe uh, Pierce Brosnan wouldn't do it, but Daniel Craig would certainly do that shit. Like he pour he pours like Death Wish coffee and then puts in a five shot five hour energy. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. He he's gonna be up for weeks. <laughs> he drinks it while injecting pure adrenaline into his thigh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Have you ever seen like the Daniel Craig James Bond movies, especially like Casino Royale? I've seen them. I just never really well, that Casino got... Royale is so fucking adrenaline filled that the only w explanation is that he's on he's coked up on five hour and coke. Mm -hmm. I just never got that much into James Bond. Films I know personally. I don't either because I've only <laughs> believe it or not a few years ago is when I first watched like From Russia with Love. Yeah. And Doctor No. And I thought they were okay films. I, it, not enough to drive me to watch the rest of the series. And there's a lot of fucking Bond films. There, are, oh, that there is one too many Bonds. I would say. Who's your favorite Bond? Mine is Gold. Uh, <laughs> gold <laughs> Bond. I mean, well, <laughs> when it, when it's overly dry, <laughs> well, when it's overly moist. I'm sorry, because you use the power to dry yourself. But overly moist. Yeah, overly moist. He, he, are you overly moist? <laughs> gold Just Bond. Just taking a quick look at around, around real fast before I have to do the deep dive. No, right. my favorite Bond is Connery. Time for I the think deep he just dive. Has a lot of class. Now this is where it gets a little wild. You have to go all the way down here and swim through the key three times to get Clanker to go up. Three times? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why? There's a way he only goes up a certain distance. Yeah. What is that song? What's going on? Why is the music getting so ominous? No idea. Really, no idea. Now we need to find Gloop. That right there is my air supply for this. That fish? Yep. Was breathing in his carbon dioxide? That's not how air works. <laughs> Who cares? The point is, if I don't get through him, I'm dead. Goddamn tree stealing all my oxygen. <laughs> my germ, damn oxygen. Shit. Where's the fish? Backwards. He's I behind think you. you. Yeah, he's oh, no, he's right in front. Yeah, it's like you're swimming in the direction that he's swimming, so you're never going to catch up to him. You just might, yeah, just keep going. I'm going to die. Nice. Not with that attitude. I think you'll be just fine. Catch it. Oof. <laughs> oh, it's not a full restore, though. No. No, it is not. So we got, we need more so bubbles. Yeah, I got to more bubbles. Oh, Chris, yeah, garlic bread. <laughs> nice. That cheesy nope. garlic bread. <laughs> cheesy garlic looks so good. <laughs> cheesy bread's just good. No, I, I'd rather just... Bread mozzarella sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the MVP. 
When in doubt, go mozzarella sticks. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, mozz out. Mozzarella sticks also kind of give me anxiety. <laughs> Why? Why? What? Because of the cheese. Oh, uh, have you uh, choked on it? People choke on mozzarella sticks. I've choked on one once, yeah. I've choked on it, like, in the middle of school. <laughs> choke on it. <laughs> I love you fucking choke on it. <laughs> choke on it. <laughs> All right, we got it done. <laughs> Look, a really disgruntled chef. Well, I, don't think I am surprised that thing is not an enemy. Just, just given its sheer size, its sharp right? teeth, right, and its beady eyes. I guess you're the real monster for thinking that of it. I think you, got, you got all the jiggies. Not I wanted the notes. I know that's the one thing I always hate about missing. The, not jiggies, the notes. Right, I always dread missing that kind of shit. What just notes? Yeah, because there's always like they're they're individual. Banjo Tooie would group them in clusters of five. Saving your time on the individual. Oh, and then I okay. think uh, there was like one big, like uh, the cleft uh, The note. treble cleft, that was 20. Yeah. But that makes them easier to spot overall because mm -hmm. they're grouped up. Right. So that's pretty much how it works. Correct. Now we got some more loitering to do around the rims. Come on. Up. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Interesting. What? I wouldn't. I wouldn't think to climb that. Cause I don't think it's obvious enough up against the the wall. Yeah. See, that's also kind of what tripped me up on my test playthrough. What the uh, the yeah. pipe? Yeah. yeah because like, it, it doesn't like n normally in the game like the the pipe would be such a radically different color. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really in this game. It just kind of blends in with the wall. It's one of those. Oh, I didn't know I can do that sort of things. <laughs> or more like oh, I need to think to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I was wrong. The uh, level doesn't really raise. You just get on the fish's fins. Well, something was risen, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just couldn't go far. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got no, I got no response to it. I have no image to perfectly encapsulate my reaction to that. You should really get that open wound checked out. You really should. Don't touch it. You're gonna sting it. Uh, no, he's mean, already deep in the water for a long time. I don't think he's gonna be bothered by it as much. Sure. Well, no, no, because that means it's just gonna get, it's gonna get infected. Yeah, it's already infected. He's, he's already, already, he's already, already, already singing so. doo doo water. Yeah, but he's also <laughs> the dookie butter. No, it's a doo doo water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> dookie butter. <laughs> Hot butt mud. <laughs> Hot butt. <laughs> Butt mud. Uh, That's a new term for it. Yeah. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> uh, I got it from Chappelle. Sure. Oh. Butt mud is however what I'm calling <laughs> Other term I'm going to use for it. And there's another one right there. <laughs> one second. Sweet. <laughs> Look. By the way, if Kazooie's eating all those, how do we get him? I don't. I dread to think the. Uh, well, no, he uh, so Kazooie eats all the pieces and shits out a completed puzzle. Or maybe she just puts it in the bag. Let's be. Let's let's, let's keep it no, sane. No, no, no. I think we should keep going here. I was gonna say like what? Kazooie's she, clearly eating. I was gonna say what? Like when she's throwing up the eggs, she accidentally throws out a jiggy. Hmm. Oh damn! That would eats be a bad the puzzle luck. pieces. <laughs> shits out the Sistine Chapel. Oh god. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy. Spell with a K out. Crazy doesn't yeah. even define it. <laughs> Banjo crazy. <laughs> the psychological horror experience from Rare. <laughs> 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 Is there nut in there? Yep, the bolt's in nut. there. Nut. That's another jiggy. Yeah, Clanker opens up once you get done the fish bit down Shoot, there. My, is my soundboard still on? I mean, you guys probably wouldn't be able to hear it. Nah, Got it. It's off. <laughs> oh. Hey, halfway done. Sweet, already. And we're only like fourteen minutes in. Oh, okay. nice. Not. Oh, okay. There <laughs> <go>. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Down we go. If I could hook up a soundboard to the mixer, I totally would. Yeah. Now we're inside the fish for realsies. That's for later. What the hell is this thing? <laughs> it's a clanker. It was a fish at one point. I mean, I, it okay, now. it is a garbage disposal. So, like, it's inside. <laughs> this makes sense, I guess. I don't have to think about it. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll just shut up. <laughs> In it's a weird, like, rare way. Well, no, because, like, I, I asked a question, and I just... Oh. I, for completely forgetting that that it's actually a garbage disposal, so this actually makes sense. <laughs> they call him the disposal. 
Yeah, for some reason, there's uh, gymnastic hoops in this fish. Let's just run with it today. If Monstro was played realistically straight. <laughs> Pinocchio would be a hell of a lot less scarier. <laughs> you know there was a horror movie based off Pinocchio? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I think it was Pinocchio's Revenge? Oh, shit. Who's he getting revenge against? The Gepet dickhead that enslaved him? I was going to say Geppetto, maybe. Geppetto? I don't... Why? Geppetto is his father. I'm not know. making him a real boy. Like for not making that's not under his power. If anything, get revenge on the the fairy. Fuck! I screwed up. No, you got. Oh damn. Oh, it's gonna be a buzzer beater. Don't touch the tentacle. Got it. Nice. The water raises inside the fish, and we get another jiggy. But not outside the fish. <laughs> Either way, water's being rose. It doesn't sound right as a sentence. It, it didn't. What? <laughs> the water, the water's being rose. Wait, rose? No, 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 no water's risen. Oh, which I have. Yeah, you think getting jiggy dive with down it, here. Do you think getting jiggy with it was a tagline for a Saw movie? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very possible. For the and if it's not, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Yeah, I have to confess, I so was afraid I was missing a Jinjo somewhere else, but good to know we got it here. Yeah. And uh, I found the cover of Pinocchio's Revenge, and I still remember the seeing this when I went to Blockbuster what years ago. What the fuck is that? It's Pinocchio. That ain't Pinocchio. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> that ain't Pinocchio. Oh, no, I've seen that movie. That's not anything to do with Geppetto, as far as I know. It's just like a psychological horror movie about the child going insane. And no, I don't think it's psychological color. horror. I think it's just the evil Pinocchio. Yeah, but then the t end of that movie reveals that there was no Pinocchio at all. It's just a girl going crazy. Was it? Yeah. The little girl was actually trying to kill her mother. Can you read the synopsis on that? Yeah. The little girl adopts Pinocchio. Lawyer and single mother Jennifer Garrick, play played by Rosalind Allen, has been exhaustively defending an alleged child killer who is slated for execution. When she unwittingly carries home a Pinocchio puppet that had been buried with her uh, client's dead son, her daughter Zoe, played by Bl uh, Blitney, Brittany Elise Smith <laughs> takes it as a gift. Soon the young girl begins talking to her new win friend and strange violent events follow with Zoe blaming Pinocchio for the unfortunate incidents. So and you're saying the twist in the end is that Zoe's the, the killer. The P Pinocchio's never actually alive. Yeah, Zoe's just, you know, sadistic. She nuts. <laughs> she Sure. The movie Come all the way back here and you'll find the soul bottles molehill in the, in the level. Yeah, at this point, Bottles only has, like, one molehill per level until Gooby's Valley. Does it make me invulnerable? Actually, it does. I know, like, some people, they like, actually cheese this and just go through without the feathers. I wouldn't be really count. You, well, you can't cheese it. it or, by cheesing, in other words, yeah, I'm going to just go get hit. No, like, no, some, like, there's actually a way for you to not get hit. Yeah, you can. I just don't fucking bother with it. So, what, you're encouraged to take invincibility? Yeah. All that tonguing is me getting hit. I can see how you do yeah, it. Yeah, basically, it, you get lucky on one path where you can run right yeah, straight if, through yeah, it. Yeah, if you don't get hit by the first blade, if you don't stop moving, you're not going to get hit by the others. But I don't chance it. Yeah, I was like, why chance it? That's the thing. Especially on the way back. Cause I think it's impossible on the way back. Or can someone do it without getting hit on the you way can. back? You can. Again, I haven't been that lucky. Yeah, I was going to say, at that point, it's, it's, I guess unless you're speed running. No, even then... Even the speedrunners have no reason not to use the invincibility because it's not like you don't lose speed. Like talking to uh, bottles. To oh, okay. Yeah, talking to bottles is going to cost you that fraction of tons of seconds. Yeah, that's all we need. <laughs> yeah. We now have a way in and out through the gills. Aren't you going to come over here, however, and shoot out his golden teeth? Are they crowns? Uh, excuse me, would you stop shooting your barf at me? <laughs> Unfortunately, my, my aim could not be any worse around the segment. Oh, you have to hit the gold tooth. Yeah. yeah. My aim is not the ideal thing. Also, he is moving around, so. That's one, that's one tooth down. Again, wouldn't get the idea to do that. Like, is there anything that goes you into attacking the teeth? You just see them licking, just see shut, the, sticking out compared to the rest of them. I think that's just a, just a design choice for the shark, you know? I, I wouldn't think it's something you can interact with. 
Damn, the only thing is, I was like, I can't get out that way, so I gotta take the long way out. We're gonna cut till we get back outside of the shark again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. You didn't even go in. And just like that, we're done Clanker's Cavern, with the exception of the one honeycomb I've yet to find. Okay, so well, let's find that honeycomb kind of real quick before we call it a bark. Right. All right, it's right down here. Swim up in this thing. Ain't the camera the best for the ship? <laughs> yeah, look yeah. at that. It's nothing. <laughs> no, it's in here. Is there no way? Right there. Oh wow, that's really awkward. Tell me about it. I mean, it looks pretty, but still. And that's all six of them. Nice. And an additional bar of health. All right, folks. With that, yes. we can call Clank. We can bring Clanker's Cavern to a close. Only took 21 minutes. Gnarly. Not bad. All right. Next time around when we meet up again, we're going to go to Bubble Gloop Swamp. We'll see you guys then. Take care. <laughs> now you're getting the Banshee's. <laughs> <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> now you're speaking my bear.